Yo, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. This is Jeremiah J. Maminer with J. Man Speaks coming to you live and direct from an undisclosed secret location in the middle of the woods. That's right. We are away, but we're still doing a team Friday because when you say you're going to do something and you schedule it, you do it anyways, right? So this is the camp look. If you could see, hair did, glasses on hoodie sometimes uh but today we're talking about public relations and real estate give us some quick shout outs we got jeffrey scott stan what's up man we got to do that we have to do that podcast bro we got to get on that uh we got heather frank good morning anybody else who's watching live or on the playback just just put it in the comments where you're watching from uh, a big part of this is anybody who's who watches on a continuous basis they end up networking you send referrals you build relationships and that's what real estate is all about but today we're talking about public relations for real estate. What is public relations for real estate? Get take my hoodie off for a second, fluff my hair up. So public relations, if you're not familiar, you know, major companies, big businesses will have a PR department, right? Within the company. And smaller mom and pop shops and just those of us who are one business, a real estate business by itself, one person, sole proprietor, you probably don't have a PR department. However, today we're going to give you some tips and tricks on how to uh, get noticed because public relations is nothing more than doing good things and getting caught doing it, right? So if you're going to do something in the community, you're going to do a fundraiser, uh, you're going to volunteer somewhere, you have an event to raise money for something, all of those are great opportunities for you to let the news in your area, whether it's the newspaper, whether it's online, whether it's uh, reporters, know that you're doing the event, get caught doing it, meaning, oh yeah, uh, we'll send somebody over and they, they can do a story on that. You know, I can tell you when it comes to real estate news, you know, they're tired of doing how much are these houses worth, the housing market. They really do like public interest stories uh, where people in the community, business people are doing good things because that's what people love. Um, yes, uh, Jeffrey, I know... Uh, I met your PR department actually when we were there on the fourth floor broadcasting, and and it's, it's so important, so important because uh, not just good, good news. Sometimes, you know, it could be good, bad, or indifferent news that reaches or that's broadcast somewhere, and the PR department can help to fix that. Right? If if, if a story uh, goes out, maybe it's a, a former realtor that was no longer at your office. Maybe they're not even a realtor member. Uh, I can remember an example where we had uh, a local realtor in our market, I'm sorry, a licensee in our market who wasn't a member of the board, who was no longer a member of our firm, uh, but that's how the, the initial report said, this realtor member from this company did this bad thing. And we were immediately on it to be sure that uh, they, they did the right thing. Good morning to Sylvia Jones. From Ontario, New York. Sylvia, I'm in Sterling, New York. We have a camp out in Sterling. Uh, so this is where I'm broadcasting from. I'd like to call it roughing it, but the Wi-Fi here is actually stronger than in my office. So, so that's what's up, that's what's up. But step one, here's what I would tell you. Uh, you know, when we talk about social media, we, we always say that Twitter, you don't have to concentrate on Twitter that much, right? Because if it wasn't for reporters and politicians, it probably would cease to exist and famous people. So first thing I would do is pick up your local newspaper or watch all your local news stations. Make a list, right? Make a list of everybody you see that might report on real estate or public interest or thing about things about the community. Um, news is easy. If you still get the newspaper, that's also easy. Then also the local newspapers, like you might have a local penny saver or something that's really small and community based. Find all of those reporters and follow them on Twitter. When they post things of interest to your community and real estate, retweet those posts and at them, which is when you talk at them. Um, you could say like if I was a reporter at J Man Sells, man, really great article today on how the town of Greece is fighting the flooding issue on the, on the shoreline. I don't know, right? I'm just making this up as I go along. But the more you can become on their radar, the more likely you are to be interviewed. And if you are interviewed by a news source, 
then that's where it starts to really build your credibility and expertise in the market. Uh, I can give you a recent example, and then I'm, I'm going to share some. Let me see if I can get the overlay here. But a recent example is we were just awarded um, in the top 250 for the National Association of Hispanic Real Estate Professionals. I know. Hold on. Let me give myself a round of applause. Um, I'm not saying that to impress you, but from that, we created a press release. Okay. And if you want uh, the templates of our press release, I don't have the, the bot reply set up yet. But if you send me a message on Facebook, on, on the page here, facebook.com slash speaks with press release, um, I'll reply with a couple of templates because I think that's the hardest place for folks to get started is how to actually create that. But hold on, I got to go to my, my noise effects, where are you? Oh, here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you. Okay. I don't have my soundboard, so it's, it's a little bit difficult for me to, on one screen to do all of this. But uh, so we were, we we're awarded this. And rather than just do an image, post it on social media, which we're going to do, but rather than just do that, it's even more important to take that because uh, we were awarded it in 2019, 2020, um, well, 2018, 2019, and 2020. So we just got it again this year for last year. And uh, when we did it and when we got it in 2020, we sent it the press release to everybody that we could, right? Because once you start following these people, what I, the, the second step to following them on Twitter is to create a distribution list. So you could just, it's easy, as easy as just take out an Excel spreadsheet and say, all right, J Man Monero, uh, reporter, you know, their title, reporter for the Democrat and Chronicle, and then their email address. And then if you can get their phone number or something like that, get their phone number. Um, so when you send this, when you have that press release, you send it to each person individually. You don't want to, you don't want to do an email blast as we're so used to in real estate. Like, hey, everybody, look at it. so special. They don't like that because then they don't feel special. So that once you start creating that distribution list, you really need to look at it, see who replies, see who's who opens it, and each email needs to be customized individually. All right? If I'm going to send one to Jeffrey, I'm going to send one. To Heather, I'm sending one to Sylvia. Each one, it's gonna be like Sylvia, and then I'll, I might change some of the copy to say, um, I thought this story might be of interest to Democrat and Chronicle readers, or I thought this story might be of interest to News 10 um, uh, watchers, right, viewers. So change it up, individualize it. Will it take more time? Yes, uh, but the, the, the advantage or the return that you get is priceless because you're not paying for this. You're not going to send them money and go, hey, could we be featured on the story? Uh, it's one of the things that annoys me when some people are like, I'm a top newsmaker at a paper that I paid money to to make me a newsmaker. That, that doesn't make you a newsmaker. Okay, folks? Uh, but once, once you do the press release, you should be contacted at some point in your career but it's a matter of consistency. Doing this over time, um, and, and when, they're, when they have a slow news day and they're like, hey, you might get a call at the very last minute. I got a call, I was gonna be headed out of town um, yesterday morning. And so Wednesday, I was super busy. Well, Wednesday morning, before I had to do a, um, a live class with Oklahoma City Realtors, Wednesday morning, I get a phone call from, from a reporter saying, Hey, Jeremiah, this is Victoria. I don't know you remember me. I remember her because I saved her information in my phone as Victoria uh, Democrat and Chronicle. So when I see the number, single time. So I don't, I'm not sure if you remember me, but I'm kind of on a deadline. We want to run a story uh, in regards to the real estate market. What's happening? Is it cooling off? Uh, and, and I did just get your press release about your award. Congratulations on that. But we... You know, when I thought of real estate, I thought of you, and uh, we want to run a story on that. So this is at 8.30. So I said, okay, I'm going to go on this this thing in a little bit. I can talk to you around 1 o'clock. I talked to her at 1 o'clock. We do the story, the interview over the phone, 30 minutes or so. She's like, okay, well, we want to get some photos too. And I'm like, Ugh, I don't know how I'm going to fit this in. I'm like, okay, I could do it between 2 and 2.30. So then I go meet the paper's photographer, 
on location uh, at a listing that I have, they take five or six shots, that story is going to run. This was just two days ago. Okay. Um, so it's the key is at the very last minute, and this is where some of you are going to have some challenges because some of you are super planners. You, you're not sure what you know, you know, you, if you know what you're going to talk about. And somebody might call you at the very last minute. News people will always call you at the very last minute and say, hey, uh, uh, we're running a story. And da, 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 da. I know. Here's another example. I got a phone call at last minute. And somebody, uh, the reporter, this is a news station, says, hey, we're doing a story on windmills that they're looking to install in the center of Lake Ontario. Okay, Lake Ontario's, I don't know, five miles across. I'm like, For news, this is news to me. It's like, would you be available today at three o'clock to do this to to be interviewed? My answer will always be yes. What did I know about windmills in the middle of our lake? Nothing, nothing. Okay, but I can tell you, this was at ten o'clock. By three o'clock, uh, I did all the research that I could. Okay, some important questions. If it's going to be a news story, you want to ask: Is it going to be on location? Which means, uh, will it be like for this story on the waterfront? We were on on the waterfront on the beach. So that makes a difference in what you're gonna wear because you're not gonna go full-blown suit and be walking the beach. That's weird, right? That's like a polo shirt, khaki pants, maybe even some sandals to go in with the theme. But they, they get you with B-roll of like walking down the beach and then they do your interview and, and, and that kind of stuff. If you're gonna be in the studio, uh, that, again, that's gonna be different because it's uh, don't wear green. <laughs> Right, because sometimes they'll have you on a green screen and you'll disappear. So don't wear green. Don't wear any kind of patterns that are really busy because that looks um, strange on on camera. It's stick to solid, solid colors. And then the last question you want to ask is: Is it going to be live or is it going to be recorded? Okay. And as as I'm talking, feel free to you know put any questions you have in here. But is it going to be live or is it going to be recorded? Live is live, right? Live is live. And when you're talking about the news, think about what you're going to say very carefully. Uh, I had a live interview where they, I could tell this reporter had an angle that they wanted to go where uh, they wanted to talk about how hard it was for buyers. That was their angle. They didn't tell me that, but they're going, oh, tell us about the market. How is it? Houses are selling really fast. We hear, I'm like, yeah, houses are selling. It's, it's really a great market out there if you're looking to sell a home you know call a realtor today uh, we'd be happy to help you out right and he goes what about buyers buyers it must be really hard they're losing on multiple offers they must be frustrated it must be really hard to be a buyer right now and i was like there's great opportunities for buyers in the market as well they can achieve the american dream of home ownership interest rates are at an all-time low so if you're thinking about buying buy a home today and contact a realtor right stick to your message just know that Regardless of the question, you stick to your talking points. So going into any kind of interview, you want to have at least three. There's a rule of three. Not West Side. There's a rule of three where you have at least three talking points. So that no matter what they talk about, hey, what about the crack epidemic in this neighborhood? Well, you know, real estate is, is one of your greatest investments you can make in your entire life. It's always a good investment, regardless of where it's located and what's happening in the community. And if you're thinking about buying a home, contact the, the Monero team where your architects of the American dream. Just stick to the talk, just stick to the talking points and you're gonna be okay. But let me see if I'm gonna try to bring this overlay in one second. Okay. Will that work? I don't know. Will that work? Let's see. Having one screen is really just, you know, people live their lives like this. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna go like this. Here's a press release from the town of Greece. And then I'm gonna overlay myself back this way. One second. Meow. Meow. Make this a circle, 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 dot, dot. Okay, hold on one second, folks. Round, there we go. Right round, J-Man's video is right round. Okay, 
there we go. I'm off to the side. All right, so here's a press release from the town. Um, we sent them a press release. The town of Greece, you know, all the reporters. And it, you might have 50, 60, 100, 200 people as you start to build this list. Uh, and, and like I said, not everybody's going to reply all the time. Sometimes nobody's going to reply, but it's a matter of consistency. You keep doing this. Um, and you can see during last night's meeting, this, this press release went, the town of Greece sent it out to their distribution list, which we happen to be on. And that's probably the, the last things that, that we're going to cover. But you see, like, it, it talks about the achievement, blah, blah, blah. And then photo op. That's me with the town supervisor and other really important people, right? That helps to build your credibility in the community and get recognized. And here's, see if I can send out the individual press release. Hold on one second. And again, if you want a copy of these or examples of these, uh, I will send it to you just send me a message that says press release there we go again i'm going to change this to be in front all right so you can see this is the press release that we sent out uh now we're up top 250 latino real estate agents and team report presents and i so if you're recognized by a national organization if you're a member of abr sres any of the designation programs you receive some kind of national award or some kind of national, uh, you're part of a national franchise, you receive some kind of award, they, I'm sure that they have a press release department. Ask them if there is a press release that they can send you that you can customize. So this was the template they sent us, uh, which talks about the actual award. Then it says, you know, it goes on and says, the agents in this year's list hail from 35 states. Then it says about the organization giving the award so that they understand um, you know that it's a reputable organization you have links that they can reference because they're not gonna be sure that it's put you on if it's something that um, they feel might might not be valid I'm gonna stick with the circle circle in the square circle in the square there we go I'm gonna go back to the wide all right, I'm waiting for any questions you might have so far about what we've talked about, but I want to give you one last tip before we go. Bing, bing, bing. Bring this back over here this way. Okay. So we have the press release. We talked about what to do with that once you send it. Community pages. So you've heard us talk about when we talk about social media, it's great to have a community page, whether it's the town you live in, the city, the municipality. Man, if you're out on Long Island, you guys have <laughs> a little town every 12 feet. It's like, now you're in this town, now you're in this town, now you're in this town. So if you have an area or areas that you want to specialize in, maybe it's Nassau County, um, maybe it's it's the small city you grew up in, I would always start with where your office is and where do you really know a lot about. And so when you do that, you then would go to the town, um, the town like I, that, like I showed you, the town of Greece and say, Hey, could we be added to your distribution list? This is like the, the, the backwards side. Um, because we have a big following, uh, we would like to distrib distribute any great news that you have that's relevant to the community. So then you get the news reported to you. And I can tell you uh, from being on the distribution list for my community, there's so many stories that people would care about that don't get ran that the newspaper doesn't run with, that the news doesn't post, because it's a great news day, right? If the mayor of your city is in trouble for something, they're running that story over the fact that um, water and on Lake Ontario is an all-time all low, and people in the community are much happier, but boaters aren't, right? That's like a slow news story, but it's a story of public interest, which if you have an audience uh, of the community, they would care about, right? So get added to the distribution list for your town. And it might take you contacting multiple people, uh, but I think the first step, if you don't have your community page built, build it first and then contact them because they will double check to be sure that you're not just a person trying to get information from them. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on one second. Mm, 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 mm. All right.
any other questions in regards to public relations, again, send me the message. We'll send you uh, the, the, the press release copy, but your tips and your takeaways today, follow your reporters on Twitter. Follow them on other social media. Sometimes they will change their name so they can't be contacted. Uh, when you watch the news, there will be a news email address that says news at News 10 NBC. Uh, you know, certain reporter at News 10 NBC. Once you do one story or you talk to a reporter or a reporter contacts you and maybe that doesn't work out, you save that information. You start building a database of people that you can reach out to with important stories. And I'm not just talking about real estate. Uh, I've been interviewed for not-for-profit stuff, volunteering that I do in the community. Right, we have uh, we're on the board for a not-for-profit called Puerto Ricans United in the Distance. We've raised money for Hurricane Maria. We've raised money for uh, earthquake relief in Puerto Rico. And when we do these huge fundraisers, part of what we do is say, "Hey, we send out the press release," and they'll say, "Okay, we're going to send a camera. What time is good?" They may not always send a reporter. They may send a camera person there just to get B-roll, right? Like just footage of what's happening at the event. They may interview three or four people, and then they put their story together like that. It's not always the reporter that's sitting there. Sometimes it's just a cameraman with his microphone, you know. Okay, and I'll tell you, don't look at the camera. Here's your microphone, and answer, you know, a few questions. Great opportunity. You're involved, you know, you volunteer. You're not for profits, uh, because when we talk about the next generation of clients that we're going to be working with, which are the millennials and the Z gens, part of their core values is making a difference, right? How you make a difference in the community, what you're doing, how you're volunteering, and the best way to let them know what you're doing and what you care about is to have a new story ran about you and, and that organization. Okay? So let me hit you back with the DJ Airhorn. <laughs> I, I don't see any other questions. Uh, kind of a short one today, but it's still very, very valuable. Um, most underlooked, I think, portion of your business. Uh, and as you go into the fall, really start putting this list together. Uh, statistics. Oh, yeah. I was about to end it. Let me say this. Q2 statistics will be released shortly. Your reporters in your market, they may be released already depending on where you are. Our, our real estate board hasn't released them yet. Q2 statistics will be released shortly. They are going to be looking for people to interview about the market. Okay? You need to get on it right now. If you have your statistics already, you know, put your press release together and say, um, you know, be will we would be willing to be interviewed uh, about the real estate market. We're an expert in this area and are available at your request. Okay? All right, folks. This is Jeremiah's J. Manero. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is great. All right, send me a message, Sylvia. You're the best. Uh, let's see how we're going to end it here. Where are we? Here we go. Nah, we're going to go beast mode. Here we go. Mm, mm. Get ready. Go dummy, go beast on them. I go beast. Go deep, I OG on them. Apply pressure, put heat on them. Put that visor zero degrees on them. Go dummy, go beast on them. I go beast. Go deep, I OG on them. Apply pressure, put heat on them. Put that visor zero down levitate going up elevate watch me demonstrate on time never late i grind celebrate no pump fake hesitate i've been scoring every day champagne perrier since 9-3 been in the box